Hello children and welcome back to Sunday School. We're traveling with God and this time we're going to continue the story of Joseph, Jacob's son. Do you remember how Jacob gave Joseph, who was his favorite son, a coat of many colors to show how much he loved him? But that this caused problems with his brothers. A beautiful coat full of colors did Joseph receive from his dad, and Joseph did tell on his brothers so they became jealous and mad joseph dreamer will everyone bow down for you for you god's plans fail not the dreams that he gives will come true do you remember how joseph's brothers captured him and threw him in a well and they then sold him to Ishmaelites traveling on their camels to Egypt. Joseph traveled with the Ishmaelites for many long days. Finally, after a long journey through the hot desert, they came to the fertile land of Egypt. There, everything was beautiful and green, watered by the mighty Nile River. Here, Joseph was sold as a slave to a rich soldier named Potiphar, who was the captain of Pharaoh's guard. Pharaoh was the king of the land of Egypt. Of course, since Potiphar was one of his high officers, he lived in a very fine house and had a great many servants. This was a strange life to Joseph. Before, he had been the favourite son, helping care for his father's sheep. Now he was only a slave in the beautiful home of a rich man. His life was changed in a more important way. Now he was in a heathen country where God was not known. The Egyptian people worshipped the sun. Joseph was only 17 years old when he was taken down to Egypt. He was surrounded by heathen people who knew nothing about God. All worshipped idols. Did he soon learn to worship idols too? Did he forget the God of his fathers, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob? No, he never forgot God. He remembered what his father and mother and grandfather Isaac had taught him about God. He still prayed. Joseph must have learned his lessons about God well when his father and mother taught him. He must have learned to pray while he was a young boy. He never had another chance to learn about God. Joseph was not alone, although he was far from home. God stayed with Joseph. Everything that he did prospered. When Potiphar saw that everything that Joseph did went well, he let Joseph manage the whole household. Now Joseph was a handsome young man. His mother Rachel had been very beautiful and Joseph looked much like her. Because he was good looking, Potiphar's wife fell in love with him. Of course this was wrong because she was a married woman. Joseph knew it was wrong and he would not listen to her. Potiphar's wicked wife, when she found that she could not make Joseph sin, began to hate him. She told her husband lying stories about him. Potiphar believed his wife. It was of no use for Joseph to say the stories were not true, for he was only a slave. Naturally, Potiphar believed his wife. Joseph was put into the prison where the king's prisoners were kept. His feet were bound with iron fetters, which hurt very much. It was hard for Joseph to be in prison for doing good instead of evil. 
but after all, it was going to turn out well. God was taking care of Joseph all the time, and God had a wonderful plan for Joseph's life, as you will see. Although Joseph was in prison, he did not have a hard time because God soon made him friendly with the keeper of the prison. This man put him in charge of all the other prisoners and trusted everything in the prison to him. The Lord was with Joseph here too, making everything that he did to prosper. While Joseph was in prison, two of the king's servants were sent there. They had done something to make the king angry. One of them, the king's chief butler, who waited on the table. And the other was the king's chief baker, who prepared the food for the king to eat. These two men were put under Joseph's care. One night, each of them dreamed a strange dream. When Joseph came to see them in the morning, he found them looking worried and sad, for there was no one to tell them what the dreams might mean. In Egypt, too, people thought that a dream was sent to foretell something that was going to happen. Joseph said to them, God can tell what these dreams mean. Tell me the dreams, I pray you. Well, the chief butler told his dream to Joseph. He said, in my dream, I saw a grapevine which had three branches with blossoms and ripe grapes on it. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand. And I took the grapes and squeezed them into Pharaoh's cup and gave the cup to Pharaoh to drink from. Joseph said, this is what your dream means. The three branches are three days. In three days, Pharaoh will take you out of the prison and will make you his butler again. You shall give Pharaoh his cup again, as you used to. Don't forget me when you come into favour. Remember me and tell Pharaoh about me, so he will get me out of prison. Truly, I was stolen out of the land of the Hebrews. Since I have been in Egypt, I've done nothing that I should be put into prison for. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation of the butler's dream was good, he told Joseph his dream. I dreamed that I had three white baskets on my head, and the top basket was filled with all kind of good baked foods for Pharaoh to eat. But then the birds came and ate up all the food out of the basket. Then Joseph said, this is what your dream means. The three baskets are three days. In three days, Pharaoh shall lift your head off and shall hang you upon a tree, and the birds shall eat your flesh. It happened that Pharaoh had a birthday three days later. He gave a feast to all his servants. He sent for the chief butler and the chief baker. He restored the chief butler to his position. As Joseph had said, the butler waited upon Pharaoh's table again and gave Pharaoh his cup. And Pharaoh hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had foretold. But the chief butler did not remember Joseph. He forgot all about him. A beautiful coat full of colours did Joseph receive from his dad. And Joseph did tell on his brothers, so they became jealous and mad. Joseph, dreamer, will everyone bow down for you, for you? God's plans fail not. The dreams that he gives will come true. The colourful coat they took off him, like a slave he was offered for sale. Then Potiphar's wife did accuse him, and Joseph was thrown into jail. Joseph, dreamer, will everyone bow down for you, for you? God's plans fail not, the dreams that he gives will come true.
The baker and butler were inmates, they dreamed in their prison cell, and Joseph was given God's wisdom, so that he the meaning could tell. Joseph, dreamer, will everyone bow down for you, for you? God's plans fail not, the dreams that he gives will come true. Well, next time, children, we'll hear how Joseph got out of prison, even though the butler had forgotten him. <laughs>